Again, on our Tuesday evening, as mentioned, Tuesday felt a lot different than we had on our Monday or certainly Sunday as well. In fact, so much so that we're talking about the potential for just a few snowflakes overnight, mainly around the Roseau Bodded area. It may not happen. There's an opportunity for it, though certainly won't amount to anything, but you know, it's been a long, long time. So we've seen any snow flying around. Another chance of showers on Thursday. Not a high chance, but the opportunity is going to be there. Outlook for early November coming up as well. Right now, 45 degrees in Fargo, 45 as well in Moorhead. And while it's not as gusty as winds we saw maybe earlier in the day, still getting a 23 mile per hour gust within the last hour in Fargo. For Grand Forks, 42 degrees, getting cloudy as well. Northwest wind at about 12 miles per hour. Temperatures around the region 37, Langdon 39 in Rozo 40, Bemidji 39, Jamestown. So again, our numbers back to being a little closer than normal for this time of evening. Yesterday we were still in the 50s and even 60s. So again, another shift. Yesterday, winds out of the south. Northwest wind today behind a cold front, so there you go. We've got winds generally sustained at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We are seeing gusts of 23 Bemidji, 28 uh, in Detroit Lakes right now. Alexander is seeing wind gusts of up to 30. Satellite and radar showers again basically out of the region. Still a couple hanging on here and there. We may see some remnants of a couple showers thanks to a wraparound from low pressure overnight tonight, but you also see an ending to those clouds. Still a long way off to the west, but we're going to see that transition overnight and certainly into early tomorrow where the clouds will be exiting our region. Still going to see some cloud cover earlier tomorrow morning when you wake up, but by mid morning and beyond looking good. Going to take a little time to warm up as well tomorrow, but we start to get a southwest flow during the late morning, early afternoon hours. That's going to help bring our temperatures up into the upper 40s to even low 60s. So we're going eastern locations, Baudette, Bemidji up in the upper 40s there, but Jamestown, Lisbon, uh, also in Oaks, I believe we're going to see those numbers warming up into the low 60s. A few more clouds rolling back in by tomorrow evening ahead of our next system, which again could bring a few showers to the region. So lows tomorrow morning, generally low to mid 30s. Highs tomorrow again, we've got upper 40s. We've got low 60s, most falling in that low to mid 50s range. Extended forecast. This is our Thursday opportunity for showers. Again, you notice impacting more the southern areas almost exclusively. In fact, should we see those showers uh, hang on there and roll through the region? Then by Thursday afternoon evening, we're back to clear skies once again. Model comparison again, neither one here, the Euro or the American showing a lot of rain, uh, but depending on one, one, which one actually comes. So we may see a little bit more up to a quarter an inch in some spots. 11 day planner. 58 tomorrow, then 57 on Thursday, 57 Friday, but a dry day. A lot of sunshine again this weekend, 56 Saturday, 66 Sunday. Talking about we keep winning the weekends there, Justin, and yeah. it looks like again looking good. Next week, of course, Halloween, Thursday, 52. First two days in November, Friday, Saturday, low 50s as well. It's still a change. We're seeing above average, but those yeah. 70s we saw probably gone. I, yeah, I think they really are gone. In fact, you see that trend all of a sudden we're consistently in the low 50s by next week. Never say never. Yeah. We'll see. Thanks, Rob.